Hello, my name is Ian Goldman and I'm the uh, theme leader on the using m and &E to address systemic crises topic. And uh, as the theme leader, my, my role has been to conceptualize the topics, the two topics that I'm leading, to develop the task, to identify the mix of people needed to make this task work. And that includes both content and evaluation people to find the, the team leader and the, the co-team leader um, for this assignment to, to build the links to key stakeholders. So in, in the two topics that I've been working on, which have been um, on um, using evaluation in particular to address climate and ecosystem, the climate and ecosystems crisis, and also the challenge of inequality that faces South Africa. So the key stakeholders that have been relevant have been the Department of Planning, Monitoring and Evaluation, Social Development, um, Forestry, Fisheries and Environment, the Presidential Climate Change Commission, etc. And so we've been building these links as part of the task. I've also had to support the team leader in facilitation and, in, and to, to provide some links to how these real systems work um, was my experience of of the evaluation system in South Africa. In terms of what I've learned from the hackathon process so far, I think one of the key things is it's really important to have a team leader and a co-team leader to, 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 to help drive the process and to support each other. It's important to have a clear process and the right team. The whole process does take time and you need to be able to allow some time um, outside the actual contact time to be able to to plan and, and, and perhaps to write up things or or prepare but it can really liberate energy in the two groups I've been working with there's an impressive contribution happening from the from the teams even though some of the team leaders had to change we managed to replace them and another uh, thing that's been important is the you're using networks to try and identify the the people to 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 have in the process and that's been very very rich finding a, a range of different people in terms of the strengths and challenges of working in a collaborative way as during the hackathon process i mean one of the strengths has really been the building of relationships um uh, and this has meant the the the, the release of a lot of energy from people, contributions from many people, which has helped to build a lot of wisdom. Um, and, you know, it, that takes time in terms of building a common understanding, but that's uh, the quality will, will emerge from that. And the, the building of the commitment is, is, is to, to the work has been something that's, that's been impressive. In terms of advice for future hackathon team leads, um, it's really important to plan well in advance and it's really essential to get the right team and the team leader and, and you need to allow the time for that. You need to have time yourself around to support the process and to be careful about programming too much other work during the time the hackathon is working. And it's really important that what, you do, that what you're working on is something that you feel passionate about and are happy to, to dedicate the time and, and energy to support that. But if you do it, um, it's, 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 it's very rewarding and I've certainly found it a very rewarding process myself.